Right, we are live. So, hello everyone, and hello. welcome to an American Truck Simulator live stream. Uh, we will be driving in Kansas, the newest released DLC at the time of recording this or streaming this, as well as Winterland, which is the special uh, event, well, a Christmas Winterland event where the the whole new map is included there. So we're driving both of those today. Fall goes to plan. And yeah, we've got American Gamer. Hello. Hello. We've also got, of, of course, myself, as well as Clear with a Gun, aka VGR. Who, I'm not, he is in VC. I'm not sure if he can unmute because on OpenTTD streams also hasn't unmuted, but hello. Uh, yeah, be driving with us separately, but the same route, hopefully, probably. And yeah, in Twitch chat, we've got Rooms Bath. Uh, says, hiya, starting soon, okay. Mm hmm. Almost not long now, yeah, yeah. Uh, starting about one minute, okay, live. Uh, Rooms Bath says, hi, Kanga, sounds very nice. Thank you, yeah, I agree. I'll just, we'll have, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Mija says, Kango, can you and American hear me? No, we cannot. Well, I cannot. I can't hear him either. Yeah. And that has been the case in the open TTD streams as well. In the, well, from the goddamn Discord, yeah. I don't know what the issue is, but we cannot hear you currently. Okay, so we are currently in Enid, Oklahoma. In so sort of central, central northern Oklahoma, I would say. Uh, and we'll be picking up some Wall of Trucks Christmas cargo from the Steeler uh, industry. And we'll be Hauling it to Winterland. Hello, by the way. <laughs> Just passed you. Oh, actually, can I just accept your cargo? Yeah. That should work. I think you can. Mm, it seems like it. Yeah. I'll do take job. Yeah, another loading screen. <laughs> hello? Major, hello? I still cannot hear you if you're speaking. Don't know what the issue is. But yeah, you are still silent for me. We've got Mickey in chat. Hello. Welcome. It's been a while. What's happening? <laughs> happening where, sorry? Oh, I'm seeing his vehicles disappearing and reappearing. You know, fire truck on the grass. Uh, I don't know what's happening. It may be desync. Because... Yeah, if it's lagging for me, then any AI cars that my client spawns will also lag for others, or like do desync, well, not lag necessarily, but won't be synchronized properly and will jump around a bit. That has happened in the past. But yeah. There's a clip of that happening as well on my channel, which Sharad has actually clipped. Uh, I, I think November 2021, where we had a convoy as well in ATS, and like the also a fire truck and a bunch of vehicles just uh, floating sideways through the forest, things like that across the street. Is it raining on your end? Yes, it is. Are you stuck? 
Yeah, I kind of... Well, actually... No, it's fine. It's fine. Because <laughs> there was... Uh, there was desync, I think. And it just clipped through the pipes. And I first thought, oh, those don't have colliders. Yeah. And then they loaded in the, the colliders. And now I thought, okay, I won't be able to rescue that. But apparently I could. Okay, I've got the trailer. Uh... Mickey, oh yeah, VGR says forget about it. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, Mickey says, sorry, got over COVID like a couple of days ago for the third time. That's why I've been missing your guys' streams. Uh, well, I'm glad you're here now, that you can make it, and want to Discord as well, and... Yeah, I mean... It is a fun, a fun stream is planned, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, we gotta try to talk as much as we can. <laughs> Don't bore anyone. Yeah. So, I've now exited the industry. There seem to be some portals to the east of us. Yep. Going up north into Kansas. So on the 35 to Wichita. Or Wichita. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how the, how we're synchronized, like the, how our tracks are synchronized with each other. So I'm not sure if I'm actually far enough away from you. Well, now, now it should be fine, but that in the past it has been the case that for me, you were, well, other players were a lot further ahead, but for them, I was right, like, right behind them. And then, like, you can also clip into each other as well, which... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's best to keep a bit of distance, at least, I think. But I think this this sort of distance should be fine. <laughs> so yeah, what what's what's everyone's thoughts about the new Winterland? <laughs> yeah, well I <laughs> I heard something well, uh, before it released, I heard a little bit of... I'm, I'm not sure from where, I think they may have teased it in the part, like in streams and things, that something like a a new map is releasing with, well, part of the new event or something, or that'll be a special thing. So it did kind of already have something like that in mind, so okay, some separate thing. I didn't know how it was going to work, but... I was quite surprised when it was released still, and like the actual yeah, announcement was made. <laughs> yeah, having a new map for the event, mm -hmm. very unique. Yeah, definitely. And the whole part, but <laughs> yeah. But does this confirm seasons? Well, <clears throat> I mean, they have also recorded. Well, they apparently have also recorded like snow crunching sounds for the tires. If you like, break on the snow and things, and have all the asset. They've got all the assets now, like all the snowy trees and foliage and textures. So, I wouldn't necessarily say confirmed, but I think they've got a quite a good head start if they do plan on implementing them to the base game, like winter. So, I'm not sure when that would even be coming, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I think if, I, I think it's a good step towards that. But yeah, I would imagine, well, I'd imagine, Am I, going to guess? Yeah, I think a little bit. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, the engine, my truck's engine is from 1945. Hmm. What's the top speed? Uh, I'm not certain. I think, well, well, I think top speed I don't know, but horsepower I think was 275, I think. But the, the later model engine, like from 1956, was just did 200. You, did you stop? Yeah, I had to. There's a red light. There's traffic in uh, front of me. Okay. Yeah. Moving along now, though. Just starting up. Uh, VGR says, I've set my graphic settings to high and refresh to 60 hertz. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, if that works for you, that's good. I'm capped at 30 FPS, but my GPU and CPU ca uh, run much cooler. I see. But yeah, I think, well... I have already explored the the Winterland map off-stream. Well, pretty much just in, in those two days on Thursday when it released, and... I mean, yesterday, actually... Yeah, yesterday morning. She hold on. Don't know now. Actually, yeah, Thursday it released, and yesterday morning I completed my personal goals of 15 deliveries. Uh, but yeah, I I really really like what they've done with it, and all those like the five locations they have, and all the all the assets they made for it, like the custom buildings and like the snow-covered cars everywhere and the lighting as well and the train they've modeled and animated like the the winter express the red one i hadn't seen the train yet <laughs> uh spoilers sorry yeah i seen a picture of it mm -hmm. in the loading screens yeah because i had i had the mod active before um that made the trains longer so there's a mod in the work, there's two of them. There's one that makes them about half a mile long, and one that almost makes them a, a mile long. Which I think also changes their skin, so it actually says BNSF on them instead of BFSN. And also adds the like, particles, which for me, I mean, I think they're using DirectX material, so for me it doesn't work properly, it's just black squares for me. So it, ha it would have to be updated to OpenGL, uh, using OpenGL yeah, materials. Keep going, straight. keep going straight. Okay, thank you. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that, that mod apparently uh, replaced that train. So I don't think it was properly, it wasn't updated for the newest version. It still worked, but it replaced that custom train as well. And so I hadn't seen the custom train before, so I just thought, oh, they, okay, they've just got the, the regular train in here. Um, but yeah, then on one, on one of the loading screen images, either get, when going to Winterland or from Winterland, I'm not sure, but on one of the loading screen images, they actually, I saw the train. I was like, oh, there's a custom train on this as well. I only saw the, well, the intermodal. So, yeah, and that, I, I then removed the mod from the mod list, and I saw the train, so. Yeah. Okay, so turn off the gas station that's coming up. Oh yeah, I see it. I'm also gonna keep an eye on you, the <laughs> stream, because um, you said that your truck is a little slow. It is, yeah. I could swap the engine, I guess, but I don't know. It's fine now. My top speed at the moment appears to be 53 miles an hour. Welcome to Wonder Winterland. <laughs> Chat. Oh wait. I'm wondering. I know these portals can give you random... random spots to enter on. Oh yeah, so I, I don't know why I'll spawn then. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, VGR says, don't know what is up with Discord. Oh, 
There you are. Oh. Same spawn location. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, that is the... It's now just playing on stream. I think this is the the image I I saw with the custom train on it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, DGR says, I launched it with admin params, but it doesn't, still doesn't pick my mic. I checked device manager and the mic is working fine. I don't know what's going on then. I'm sorry. Uh, Mickey says, oh, I have those train mods. Yeah. I do like them as well, and like the the really long trains and stuff. It does feel a lot more like realistic. Yeah, like the USA, uh, having actual like sort of mile long trains as a norm as a normal thing, like freight trains. Yeah, but in yeah. my job, we do not like trains. In my job, ooh. So in what way do they negatively impact it? Um, I drive a lot in my job. Oh, uh, well, I see. And we, have a we have to keep a schedule, and we get stopped by a train that just pisses us off. Yeah. I see. I am getting my CDL, so it's like... Hmm. But my job getting stopped by train, it doesn't happen often. That's good. Yep. Uh, Roomspath says, do you have snow IRL? No, all of our, all of our snow melted. Mm -hmm. But you, For ha now. you had snow though. Yep, we had, we had snow, it's all gone. Mm -hmm. For now. Yeah, and it's not even winter yet, officially. No. Even though here in the UK it has felt like winter temperatures for about a month and a bit now. Like since November it's pretty much felt like winter. Yeah, it is cold where I live. We mm -hmm. had rain uh, yesterday. It was raining all day. And I was miserable. Mm-hmm. I see. Uh, Mijia says, Elisa, snow in the desert, climate uh, thing change, could be a Vencord error. Vencord? I've never heard of that. Oh, oh, the, oh yeah, the, the, the alternate Discord app maybe. I, I would attempt with the official Discord app. That, that's what I'd try if you're using an alternate app. Uh, Mickey says, a freight, uh, a freight train, a freight train, Gordon, yeah, <laughs> yes. Custom Discord client, yeah, I would try it with the base, with the, with the official one. If you want, too bad I uninstall it. I mean, you can get it from the website with just a click. But yeah, this looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, very beautiful. <laughs> so it's so great what they did. Yeah. They didn't have to do this. Mm hmm. It just shows that they're advancing. Indeed. Hmm. I've got to get a. a um, an African expansion? Or something? Oh. You mean for. Eastern. For your truck, too? Did you mean? Or for what? Yeah. That would be nice. I'm not sure if that's officially planned. I know there was a mod map for that well, about 10 years ago at this point. Uh, well, roundabouts. Called TSM. Uh, I remember I watched Squirrel's videos on it back then. Um, which had like Northern Africa in it. But, yeah, I, I don't know if an official one is planned. I guess eventually, probably. You think, you think SES will um, go to other regions of the world? 
You mean like not adjacent to anything existing? You could say that. I was thinking about like other parts of the world, like um, South America, mm. Asia, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's possible. I think, I mean, I would hope that once they're done with ATS, like with the bait with United States, like apart from Alaska, that they'll move on to Canada and then Alaska and Mexico as well. And if once they're done with that and how many years, I would hope that they'll uh, expand more southwards in the same game. But I don't know if that'll happen. But yeah, it would, would be nice. It would be nice. So now this is fun. <laughs> I'm trying to find a job. <laughs> I see. I hope it doesn't take long for this. Hmm. I can have a look as well. Um, you can. We're looking for a uh, Wichita. Oh yeah. Okay. Just switch over. The work. In the external contracts. Yeah. Okay. Um, I hope this doesn't take a half hour. Yeah, I'm sure it won't. <laughs> I'll just I'll have a look. Um, hmm. Uh, um, VGR says, just so you know, it's Mac compatible. I see. I mean, I'm good with the, with the official Discord client, but thank you still. Uh, Rumors Path, very lovely. Yeah, I agree. VGR, you get the installer off the official website. Yeah, I'm, I meant Discord's official one, yeah. Rumors Path, it would be nice if you could keep this map. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Would be nice if it wasn't just exclusive to this event. Same with the menu backgrounds as well. I wish you could. I, I think it's good if they're just, uh, well, if they're just during the event. But I wish it was like a, um, like it was one of the rewards for completing the event or something. You could keep the menu theme. Same with the Halloween one, but ah oh, well. Just have a look. A really long look. Hmm. I guess. None of these one the. I mean. On in. I guess we could just do just any one, any one of them, and then just teleport to Wichita or something. We don't find like I couldn't find anything that goes to Kansas at all, so. I guess that may still be the best option. Yeah, there's just a lot of... There's a lot of just... Whatever. Everywhere but where we need to go. Yeah, I don't know why... Just there's not... A lot of Wichita Falls. Who? Wichita Falls, Texas. Okay. There's a lot of that. And OMAC. Hmm. Or is it OMAC? I'm not sure. Uh, if I don't find anything this time, um, yeah, let's do that. Just random, random one. Yeah. Or we don't even have to do that. We just have, to, um, I think if we rescue, we'll spawn somewhere on the map. Yeah, I mean, I was just thinking, quick travel. So we'll just do whatever one, and then 
after delivering it we'll quick travel to Wichita and then just do a drive and at the end we'll do another one to Winter Land. Okay. That's what I was thinking at least. Uh yeah, Rimsbath. If you could keep this map like Winterland, that would be nice. Like oh, if wait. they <laughs> I found one for Topeka. Ooh. Oh that's nice. Yeah. Say the little bit. Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, grabbing the one for Topeka. Great. Uh, yeah, or if they just maybe if SES just released like a two ninety nine DLC or something for the Winterland map, if you still want to have access to it after the after the event ends or something, and they just had one permanent portal somewhere just hidden off just in the woods or something. All right, that'd be nice. <laughs> Moving to the location. Okay. Uh, Blue Albastro says. Maybe they'll add Canada to ATS. Then they can have a road to Alaska. Yeah, that was a, that's what I was thinking as well. They could have like ferry as well, perhaps. I'm not sure about like real life. I would imagine there's probably a ferry that goes from like west coast USA, like main like beneath it, Canada. It's on the west coast. About the Disney cruise. Hmm. I know. I know the Disney cruise goes up there. All oh, right. Make a joke. Mm -hmm. Make a joke to put a truck on the cruise and just. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah, and you could have like a ferry connection, like that, like west coast to USA to Alaska. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Also, if you do uh, blue, if you do want Canada experience in ATS, I've not tried myself, but Pro Mods have actually released for ATS as well a few years ago, which isn't that large yeah. yet, but you've got no, British Columbia. Or at least parts very of it. Small. Yeah. But very, like, very small. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you can head northward of Washington State and into Canada with that. Which yeah. Uh, Mickey says, I'll be old and gray when they add all the US. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rumspath says, I like your truck. Thank you. Uh, Blue says, Promotes, you need every map DLC though. Uh, with ETS 2, yes. I'm not sure about ATS, if that's the case there as well. I'm not fully certain. The website should say. But yeah, just look at this. <laughs> that's really lovely. And like the 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 sky lanterns as well that are floating up from from there in the town square. I'll accept your job as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rumsbath says, "Can you show us the map? Can you show us the map?" Yes, I will do once it's loaded. job is Christmas market hampers from Town Square Winterland to Topeka Kansas <laughs> right yeah map view is here so we've got Town Square which is like the main city and northward of that we've got the post office area North oh, Star. Are, you, are you waiting for me uh, 
I'm showing chat the the map view, but it will I'll pick up my trailer in a bit. Uh, Arts workshop, chocolate factory, marigolds, and we've got the mountain resort up here. So yeah. Okay. Lovely small map. Yeah. <laughs> Well detailed. Definitely. I applaud, applaud them. Mm hmm. Same. It's really atmospheric as well with the, with the sort of Christmas music as well. The jingles. Yep. Rumors Path says very Somebody, nice. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna make a mod of this. Somebody's gotta preserve this. Mm hmm. Yeah, be nice. Uh, Roomspot says, nice and cozy and a lot of work. Yes, definitely. And they did say they've been Here's... Yeah. This Christmas jingles are about a Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Oh, yes. They've got the speakers on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, the guy there is the DJ or something. He's just on his phone. And yeah. look, and the <laughs> it's actually got the SES logo on it, <laughs> like the I'm not sure what it's called, like the the discs you can turn. I am ready. <laughs> All right. There's like a movie scene coming up. I'm gonna grab this real fast. Oh yeah. The viewpoint. <laughs> oh yeah, then you can actually. I think in that viewpoint you could see my truck go over that bridge. <laughs> if I, if we time it correctly, it'll be on your stream then as well. So let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know when I get. Okay. I'll let you know when I started it. Okay. I don't know what scene is gonna start with. <laughs> yeah. I think it's first a scene that's near your truck, so near the viewpoint location. Then it cycles through, it's just around those bridges, I think. I think maybe like the second scene or something. Oh, that looks very lovely. <laughs> oh. oh. I missed it. A little bit, yeah. Okay. I started it. Alright. View of the village. <laughs> I see your truck. Oh yeah, it does move. In the field point. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. There's a screenshot right there. <laughs> I was hoping for that. <laughs> yeah, I'll post it after the stream. It is a good shot. Good timing. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Very good timing. Uh, Blue says, I'm not keen on long nose trucks, a value being able to see ahead. <laughs> yeah, well. I don't know. I. <laughs> I mean, oh this... my goodness, the sun is out. Ooh. I haven't seen the sun in two days. Oh, yeah. Do you mean IRL? Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, an eight. That's a little slow going up this hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they'll ever add a cab of a truck in ATS in the base game. Hmm. 
They're not really being produced anymore for the US, I don't think. It's not out. Uh, uh, Blue says, are they even legal in the US? I mean, they used to exist. I think in the 60s, 70s, I think they were quite popular. And also earlier, I think in the 50s as well. Like so. Uh, the word, well, this this truck is from 1949 and also produced later on, quite late, I think through the 50s and 60s as well, with the Peterbilt 350, and then also 351 as well. But yeah, in the 60s, for example, there there was there were a lot of uh, cab over trucks, like the Peterbilt 352 is one of them. There's Kenworth K100, there's the Freightliner FLB, and there's a lot of them. GMC Cracker Box as well. A GMC Astro 95. There are a lot of them. I I think it was due to the the length limit of the tr of how long a truck with trailer was allowed to be. So for a time they had uh well they did cab over trucks. So the truck could be really sh really short and they'd have they could have make the trailers longer so it would still fit in the same uh, height, well, length, I guess. But yeah, I do like the long nose trucks myself. <laughs> Very unique. Mm -hmm. I'm on my r routes. I actually go buy one of them, uh, cab over. All right. It is. It looks very old. Ooh. Nice. It's green, too. So that's unique. <laughs> I like that. But yeah, sadly I can't take pictures of it because it's on private property. Ah. Uh, I see. We're going to the chocolate factory. <laughs> But yeah, um, uh, VGR says, and there we go, my game crashed on departure from Wichita. Ah, that's unfortunate. Well, it was nice having you. Hi. I mean, yeah, you did it say was. you were, like, were going to leave, so yeah. Uh, Blue says, your truck looks like it has paper thin doors. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just down to the lighting. But yeah. Um, yeah, one of the developers of Pro Mods um, uh, Canada, so Smarty, he's also the author of the Scott A2, H A2 HD truck, as well as this truck, the Peterbilt 350, and he's working on the Peterbilt 351 as well, which is... Well, oh, what, rats. Yeah. One, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, what happened? Uh... It's one of those goofy default trains, rats. Oh, how come? Carry on. Carry on. Okay. I'm sorry about that. That's fine. Not sure why that spawned. <laughs> um. But yeah, so he's working on the Peterbilt 351, which is one of the. Which is one of the trucks they used in the film Duel by Steven Spielberg. Uh, Interesting. Mm hmm. And which has uh, like an even narrower hood than this one. And a bunch of other changes. He's also doing a Unilite cab, which is a little, more, a little bit of a more modern one. And yeah, that he did aim for that to release by the end of the year, but it's likely going to take a bit longer. But it is quite far ahead with progress and yeah he's actually going to stream some development on it tonight uh, well <laughs> it's like the time the stream times aren't really convenient for me because well I'm in the UK and he's in Canada in real life so his streams start at midnight my time and go until 3 a.m. usually oh this isn't the chocolate factory after all hmm Oh yeah, it's, it's just the portal, of course, yeah. Um, but yeah, 
and he has got a lot of projects as well started, which most of which aren't done, but yeah. But yeah, Blue, if you, <laughs> once that has released, I would, well, that, that truck does also have a long nose, but that one is like the, it is quite narrow, so you, it, it, it doesn't obstruct the view too much, I find at least. Well, I've not driven it yet, because it's not released yet, but I don't know. It doesn't really bother me personally, but still. <laughs> um, VGR says, only the game. Oh, I see. Do we do Open TTD next week? Yes, should be. I assume Shadow's job will let him off for Christmas. Well, I mean, the weekends were always, like, it was always free. It's just from, yeah, it's just from home, so. Uh, it's just something else today specifically. We can't, couldn't make it, but next week should be as normal, and after that as well. Um, hold on. Okay. Trying to find cargo that he has close Kobe. Oh, yeah. Oh. Also, it's interesting how trailer, like semi trailer, semi trailers don't have reversing lights in the USA. Because they do in Europe. They do? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and if you've dri well, if you drive in ETS2, for example, if you look at the trailer's uh, lights, then they've got, well, for tail lights, normal running lights, indicators, and reversing lights like trucks do. And there's another thing which is different um, in, in Europe. The indicators of vehicles are always like an amber color. It's always like a yellowy orange color. But in the USA, for some reason, I don't know why, the rear vehicle's rear indicators are often red, like the brake lights. Which, I don't know it's why. A little, it's a little brighter. Mm-hmm. I guess so. I guess it's just how we design our vehicles. Hmm. I mean, everybody knows that the brighter red means brake. Yeah, true. If, if you know what they were. But, yeah. uh, yeah, that's interesting. I don't really know much about vehicles over there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. VGR says, so you guys are fellow working from home and drives. <laughs> yep. Uh, Blue says, American rear lights are silly anyway. Why are indicators, oh, sorry, blinkers red? I don't know. I guess you can confuse, well, it depends. If you use the, the vehicle's flasher, well, with this one, it's separate. So the running, or the trailer on this one, the running lights are both lights. Then the brake lights are the inner ones, and the indicators are the outer ones. We can indicate like that. But yeah. <laughs> Blue says, see, you're reading my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you had post... You were writing that while I mentioned that. <laughs> but yeah, yes, I read your mind. Yes, of course. Uh, VGR, they're not mandated to orange by the EU. The EU mandates that indicators be orange lights. I guess so. Not helpful from a distance, though. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, if, if you've got like the like the flashers on, you, I, th I guess it could be easily mistaken for having like braking, like periodically braking instead of having flashers on. But I don't know. I do find that it's clearer if if indicators are amber and brake lights are red. But I don't know. I've never been to the USA in real life, so... Yeah, we also have 
I know several vehicle, several car models and truck models have amber turn signals. Mm-hmm. So rear ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very few that I've seen, but we do have them. All right. I guess it's just because it's easier and cheaper to have the lights. You know, one set of lights in the rear. I suppose so. I'll come to the gap to this end. Hey, bite lips. <laughs> yeah. Uh, blues, uh, actually, read you. Sorry. Um. Yeah, blue says, and plus hazard lights helpful if the contrast breaks. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that is true. Yep, our ambers are indeed amber. Oops. Amber lights, I mean, <laughs> flashers. Four yeah. way flashers. <laughs> Yeah. Or amber, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, BGR says the same way they mandate DRLs on all road vehicles from 2012 onward. Oh, daytime running lights, oh yeah. Hmm. Uh, Blue says then there's 21 states that don't ask you to have a front registration plate. Oh, really? Was that about registration plates? Blue said, then there's 21 states that don't ask you to have a front registration plate. Yes, that's true. Kansas is one of them. Huh. I mean, I... Hmm. Interesting. I guess if the police is chasing a vehicle, like if a, poli if a police car is chasing a vehicle, then they would just see the rear one. Yeah. But if if a police officer catches a crime being committed just off the road somewhere, and uh, where the car would be turned the other way around, where they would normally see the front registration plate, they wouldn't be able to know what car it is. And then, yeah, I, I think it would be, well, I don't know, but I don't know why they would have such a, such a, well, lack of regulation, I guess. Money. Because it's 25 cents to make a license plate. Ah, uh, that I don't know the real that reason. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just saying things now. <laughs> I don't know why this state has... Only one plate mm -hmm. needed. <laughs> hmm. I'm lazy, I'm not gonna park this thing. Okay. While I park it, you could have a look at the job offers if you want. Uh, Blue says, it's weird that U.S. car laws are so bad that you need a car to be able to leave the house. I hate the anti-walk anti culture. Ooh. Yeah, like oh, jaywalking yeah. and things. Right. Yeah. It should never have been introduced, honestly. Like, I've never been to the USA, as I said, but... Just the the idea of that, the idea of that, just the sheer idea of not being able to legally cross a road if you don't find the proper place to cross a road, just that idea just doesn't cross sound... Road. <laughs> pedestrian or vehicle? Pedestrian, I mean. Oh yeah, uh, you cross a road whenever we want. Really? Yeah, I see people running across highways. Yeah, but like... Isn't it's not safe. I don't know. Maybe it's a sp state-specific thing then. But I have heard that jaywalking is a thing, and that oh. you God, I don't know about like how strict that is. I don't know. 
Uh, Blue says, you know something? Yeah. I know it's illegal. It's called jaywalking. Yeah. That's what I meant, yeah. I never see anyone get ticked or arrested for it. Mm hmm. It's like one of those laws where it's a law, but nobody follows it, even the law enforcement. Yeah. I guess it's just to discourage people from doing it. But because, yeah, it is dangerous. Yeah. Running across the interstates That's, or highway. Yeah. I mean... I wouldn't... Well, even if it was in the USA, I wouldn't cross a highway on foot, I don't think. But just in the city or something, if there's not a pedestrian crossing or if it's a bit... If it's just on the next intersection or something, it wouldn't want to go to the another intersection just to cross the road. Um, Blue says, no pavements in some communities at all either. I have a relative who got fined for jaywalking, says Blue. Huh. That's I see. Crazy. Yeah. Crossing dangerously doesn't phase me, given the amount of dodgy drivers. Yeah, I mean, it is... It should just be your own risk. I mean, if you... If you look at a, a road, and you yourself stop and look left and right, and you don't see any cars there, you should just be able to cross the road, and it's your own... I don't know, your own risk, whether anything happens to you or not, but it shouldn't be a... you shouldn't be fined for it. I, f I find at least. Well, I find, at least, yeah. Um, Blue says... I'll just go through here. Uh, Blue says, and even worse in the US, with the disgusting huge trucks, the, like F-150 trucks, not haulage trucks. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like the pickup. Pick yeah, we got a lot. Yeah, mm. those trucks... I've seen a video of how dangerous they are, how they're gonna kill society or whatever. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because if they're... Why if, do we need to yeah. big? I, I don't, don't know. know. Because, I, I guess it's just... I guess one part of it is just safety. Because if you're in a normal car and if just... Even if you're the safest driver in the world and you would never, like, cause a crash yourself, if there's just someone else on the road, that that, that un inconvenient time, then I guess yeah, just having a truck like that, like a, like a pickup truck or something, a lifted one, is just a lot more sturdy and, and holds up better in crashes, I guess. And that's of course, the, that of course the truck bigger than the truck itself or a train. Hmm. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about um, vehicle safety. I was talking about some train safety. I have a I have a coworker that didn't know what that doesn't know what to do or uh, didn't know what to do in case he gets stuck on train tracks. Hmm. Like the only thing he knew is he knew is get out of the truck and run towards the train at a 45 degree angle. That's all he knew. Huh. He didn't know about numbers because every railroad crossing here that's automated. I'm not sure about cross. Cross bucks. Oh yeah. But every signal, every traffic gate, safety gate, where whatever you want to call them, mm. they have like a number that you call. Oh yeah. The number gives you the company. So we'll say like um, UP. Oh yeah. You call that number if you're stuck, or signs wrong, like gate malfunction, and you tell them what number. The gate crossing is at the oh, usually displays on the, on the crossing itself mm -hmm. or on the box. Yeah, I see now. So they can contact the train and tell them to stop before it hits the vehicle. Yeah, call a company so mm -hmm. they can let the driver know. Yeah. Um, Lou says. Uh, but, like, they're not even practical. They're just big, bulky death machines. Like, the Cybertruck's selling point is that it won't dent at all. That will kill a pedestrian due to no fault of their own. Yeah, I actually saw a video about that this morning. 
about uh, the the Tesla Cybertrucks, uh, like the where they had like the uh, impact test thing, well, where they, where they had the collision test, how that was horrifying. Uh, that was the video title. Um, yeah, that was in some paper. Yeah, and like, like with the crumple zone thing, because if it's that sturdy and doesn't dent at all, then yeah, it's not ideal for the passengers, because they still get flung around if the car suddenly stops, if it's going like 40 miles an hour or something. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Lou says it won't sell in the EU. I don't believe it meets legal requirements. Yeah, that's a that's a point he said in the video as well. Uh, the whole thing looks so stupid anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of its design myself. I mean, like modern cars and things. I just, I generally don't really like the designs of. <laughs> I, Personally, I just I prefer like designs from like olden well from olden times <laughs> from like well fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties like also truck designs and like just general car vehicle designs nineties as well like early two thousands things like that but like recent car designs it's just not not really. I don't know. It's a matter of taste, like personal taste, but still. Uh, it's a god knows how expensive flex that nobody else thinks is a flex. <laughs> Best car Fiat 500. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Missed what, sorry? I'm back to the wrong trailer. Ah, uh, I see. That's how bad I am. I'm joking. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Actually, yeah, I think it might be bad. I don't know. Uh, nah. Wouldn't say so. Just loading for me. That's alright, I'm having to stop for a sec anyways. Mm -hmm. Just the route. Oh yeah. Right, I'm back. Uh, where is it? Oh. Oh, it's Passage. right there. Let's see, I'm still live. That's good to hear. <laughs> you got the two trailers? Yep. Indeed. Can you handle the two trailers? I should be able to. I don't plan on reversing them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is this Kai also overcast for you? Yes. <laughs> nice. I do really like those weather changes they made. That you can actually have a, an overcast sky without it pouring down. Like just fog and things. And also the lunar light and northern lights and things. I've not seen the northern lights myself yet in game. But no. Still. Although in real life, supposedly you you can see the um, aurora borealis tomorrow. Oh, some solar flare or something. Mhm. Mm Although I guess that's well, aurora borealis are th probably just more northern parts of the world. I'm guessing because it's not really like if you. I don't know. People are there's sites of it down south as far as Mexico where I live. All right. I think well in the UK, I think in Scotland it's also visible sometime, but down here I've never I've never seen it in real life. Never. It's always been cloudy when they're supposed to show up. Mm. It's gonna be cloudy again when the show's. <laughs> no, I might look. Yeah. Hope well, hopefully it won't happen again, but. Pablo uh, says. The thing I hate about the ATS and ETS is that the updates can be just a few megabytes, but it takes a century to patch the whole game after. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Same. That's a big. That's a problem, but. Mhm. Mm I updated ATS a week ago, but I haven't patched it. The Aurora Borealis was seen from the South Downs here, apparently. Oh. That's really surprising. Interesting. But yeah, another update released on the 14th of December, which is where they added this event. So, yeah. If you want to participate in it and get the rewards and things, yeah. I mean, there's still a month left, pretty much. Well, it's, it was, it, well, yeah. yeah. So from where it started when was a month. When was it when they, when they started giving... Uh, Insane amount of time to quit these events. Hmm. Because I thought years ago they gave you like a couple of weeks, but now it's been now you can do them in months. Huh. I don't know. I think you want more people to do them. Yeah. I mean, the Halloween event wasn't as wasn't that long. Um, but the, like the West Balkans one is still going right now. So, I guess it just varies. Because last year there was, well, it was supposed to release Heart of Russia, but that got shelved, so nothing released last or, year for that. For now. Yeah. yeah I hope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it looks good. It looks good. It does. It really does. But yeah. But yeah, um, current events. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. And there's a whole story that I wish not to delve into because that might spark a lot of conversations. Yes, yeah. That may or, that may, or may not be good for this stream. Mm -hmm. I agree. But yeah, it's a shame. Mm hmm. But hey, at least we get Greece. True. And I mean, you can, even now, you can still get into western most Russia, like with St. Petersburg and things, which they released with the Beyond yeah. the Baltic Sea DLC. Yeah, that's the only <clears throat> Russia, but the yeah. part of Russia is supposed to go as far as Moscow. Yeah, and even further, I think you can get, with Heart of Russia, uh, Volga, the... I think it's in Volga in the Euros. Yeah, and a uh, city they also teased before it was finished, the DLC, the DLC because the DLC is finished. Um, Where did you? Boop. Yeah, you took a wrong oh, test. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking about the DLC. I just followed an AI truck. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but yeah, one city they teased is well, they've. Te I think Minsk is confirmed, as well as Ria. I think Riazan or Riazan. Not sure how it's pronounced, but. That is, I think, east of Belarus, so it does stretch quite far east, I think, and quite far in, well, 
Yeah. So, quite a large DLC. It seems like. I think it would be the biggest DLC since... Hmm. Iberia? Yeah, probably. I know Iberia. I think that's yeah. the closest one. I think that's the biggest one right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, your chat would probably tell me I'm wrong. No, I think I think you're right. Because I can't think of any other larger DLC than that. France is pretty big. <clears throat> Although some of France was already in the base game, it was just the Viva yeah. France DLC was just Western France, um, and Corsica later on. Uh, Corsica is a free addition to yeah. that that Italia DLC. Oh yeah, Italia. So when it was. So when is so when is Ireland coming? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I mean. <clears throat> I guess, may, hopefully, when they get to reworking the UK, they'll add it, but I don't, I've not heard anything official from SES, because they've not talked about yeah. the UK re rework at all, really. I know the community wants a UK rework so bad. I do as well, yeah. Because they're focusing most of the time on Austria and Germany. Mm-hmm. I mean, Austria... Well, at least they should... Yeah, they got, that was the most low, um, recent point of of the rework. Yeah, I mean, the Germany rework is just ongoing. It has been for years now. And they've just done it bit by bit, it seems like. But, like, the Austria rework released, I think, May last year. And they're working on Switzerland re rework now. And which is going to release, like, early next year, which they, they thought was going to be end of this year, but they couldn't make that after all. So it's going to be quarter one, like, the first quarter of next year. Same with phase three of the California rework. But yeah, so there was, with the, with, the, with the islands, again, I think there were two that were added as free updates to DLC, I think. I think Corsica... Sardinia. Yeah, it was Co Sardinia and Corsica. Those are the only two I know. Yeah, those are the two that I meant as well. Uh, I remember when Italia DLC came out. Wow. That was 2017. Am I, am I that old? <laughs> I remember as well. Am I a boomer? Nah, I wouldn't <laughs> say so. Yeah, so Corsica. <laughs> yeah. Corsica released as part of an update to the France DLC, and Sardinia released as part of an update to the Italia DLC. Um, but yeah. Any gas? Um, hold on. No, I'm good. But thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep a steady 50. Sorry, I'm losing you. Thank you. Uh, Blue says... I was going to try and join you on the day it came out when I saw you were playing, but it was taking forever. It even estimated a year until completion. <laughs> yes, team can do that. For some reason. Yeah. Yeah. It does take a while to update for me as well and to patch and things. I mean, with with the re most recent update like uh, released on Thursday uh, that add this event. I mean, I started it in the morning. So I I don't know, well, I say morning. It was sort of late morning, it was like 9 o'clock I think, roundabouts, maybe a bit earlier. Uh and it was running until in the afternoon. Then the rest of, well, then I did deliveries, and then, st well, morning of next day I completed mine, so, yeah. Oh. Hold on real fast, I gotta let my cat out real fast. Okay. Um, I mean, you, yeah, just pull over and then... We can wait for a bit. Alright. Blue says, cat, cat, cat. <laughs> yep. Oh, Kurt's still here. Hold on. Kurt's still here, American Gamer in the distance, I think. Uh, 
Uh, Blue says, I might patch it after the stream, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just let it run overnight. I think that'd be good. If your computer can handle it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Feel free to overtake me. Blue said, cat, cat, cat. Yes. Uh, might patch it off the stream, maybe, yes. Actually, I'll start it now, and it might be done after. Yeah, I hope you will. Would that be nice? Not sure how that will, like, the Im internet impact, how much it would impact the stream playback, but... I mean, I hope it'll be fine. But, yeah. Uh, Blue says it's either ATS or OMSI this evening. Mm hmm. Well, whichever you choose, I hope it'll be fun. Mm hmm. Hope you have fun with it. Road. Maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Blue says, I'd rather ETS to ATS, but that'll take even longer. Oh, really? Oh, because you've not updated that yet. Although, I'm not sure. Because if you updated ATS a week ago, you would have to update it again because the event update released on Thursday, which was less than a week ago. So you'd have to update either way. Uh, more mods are longer to patch. Oh, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Now I have the event update. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good. I am so embarrassed. Oh? I was talking we this muted. whole time. Oh. I'm sorry. Also, there's a, there's a photo opportunity coming up ahead. I'm gonna grab this. Okay. Yeah, if I don't respond to anything, chances are that's the reason, because I do respond to things. And it has happened in the past as well, to me and to now someone else I know, and yeah. It happens. Yeah, it's so embarrassing on my part. Don't worry about it. It's it's all right. Uh, we've got Mr. Mr. Snipes in chat. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. So, Mr. Snipes, I'm not sure if you've heard, but SCS have started a winter event, Winterland event which is very different to the past year's events because, well, they've got a brand new map 
for the winter event, which is called Winterland, which they've been working on for a long time, very long time, they said. And I'm not sure if you've heard about that. It's on their blog, it's the second to last blog post. You ever just want to rev your engines to some cop next to you at a red light? <laughs> Well, a fire engine will do, I think, in this case. <laughs> do you see, is that also a fire engine for you on the right? On the right? On your right, yeah. Ye yeah, there is a fire truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in real life I've not tried that yet because, well, I've not driven in real life. But, yeah. This is nice. Do you get a chance and opportunity? <laughs> well... I don't know yet. I guess it depends on the situation. <laughs> Probably not, but I don't know. Mr. Sniper says, how goes the trucking? Oh, it's going quite well. I have not. New map trucking sounds on. good. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, so I have posted, well, on my server on Kang Accord, I have posted it in Truck Sim Chat, a link to the... Actually, hold on. I'll just, I'll, I'll post it now. There aren't actually that many pictures of the map itself on the blog, but they've got a brand new small map for the event, like for the Christmas deliveries, for World of Trucks deliveries. So there's the link. Uh, so basically the way it works is you accept a, tra a trailer, like a job, a Christmas trailer, like a, a, a special paint job trailer from the event, from somewhere in the actual, like in the, in the, in the main map in either ATS or ETS2, it's for both games. And then there's a few portals that appear, like a, a white whirlwind like white whirlwind icon on the map, which you can drive to, and then it looks like a basically a, a 3D rectangle of sparkles, like sparkle particles. Then you can... It, it's like basically a ferry, so you, can, you just stop there and you press enter or return, and then instead of there being a screen where it just ask you where you want to go, it's you just there's a loading screen and then you're in the new map, like in the Winterland map, which it's basically it's set in the north at the North Pole and it's just a fictional winter snow snowy area with five locations and you deliver stuff to those locations and if you want to deliver from Winterland, you can also pick up a cargo from there and then use a portal to deliver it to the actual map. Which is something they've never done before and this is the first time they've ever done anything like this. So, yeah. Uh, Blue says, steal the Verso. <laughs> it's not in the game, unfortunately. Uh, you know, sis. Since you mentioned about the fairy, about it acting like a fairy, it's making me want. It's making mm -hmm. me think. If it's like a fairy, where is the map, then? Yeah, I. I mean, I don't know if that's actually how it works. I was just, it, well, I was just comparing to that. I do think it's a separate that's map. Comparison. That's good comparison. Mm -hmm. Because if it is like a fairy, if it's acting like a fairy, then the map must be somewhere. On this map, maybe like, like off, like off bounds. Yeah, I have no idea how they've managed it, or if it's if it's an actually new map or not. I don't know. I guess it could be somewhere out of bounds, but I don't know if that's really the case. Mm. Uh, Mr. Snipes. Now you got. Yeah. Now you're gonna make me wanna. Um, no clip. <laughs> for hours. <laughs> trying to find this thing. Hmm. I guess in the game... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you dug through the game files or something, you could come across proof for one of the, one of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Snipes says, I've been enjoying a free rally racing sim with my, real, with, my wheel re with my wheel recently. Just finished a nice online rally along snowy Finnish roads. <laughs> I see. Blue says Hawaii. <laughs> sure. 
yeah, I, I'm looking forward to when they add Hawaii to this game as one of the states. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be an expensive fare. Oh, yeah. I have a total of three cities. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going with the uh, ATS scale. Yeah. What we're gonna do is thing with one with Winterland where it's more upscale, more cities, more roads, and it's like you know. I guess they could do that, yeah. Um Mr. Snipes is Alaska too. Oh yes. But I I'd imagine they do Canada first. Like along the coast maybe and then work the way to Alaska eventually. Maybe Jar says, Well I'm gonna go now guys. See you on Monday, bye for now. Yes indeed. Bye. Goodbye. Have a great weekend. Indeed. Yeah, I'm not sure if Shadows will stream tomorrow, but it's probably a bit late for you anyway, where you are. Uh, Oop. Oop. Um Mr. Snipe says, and Puerto Rico. <laughs> Is that a part of the United States? It's a territory. All oh, right. Well, in fact, if you live in the United States or Puerto Rico, you don't need a passport. Huh. Interesting. That is a fun fact. And they use the same U.S. dollar. Hmm. Also interesting. Also, another thing um, is that you know with dollars. It's dollars and cents as the decimal, so sort of decimal currency. Uh, yeah, in, I heard about British pounds. Where it's like, was it um, cents, shillings, pounds? Well, yeah, well, shilling, uh, cent. Well, with euros, with the, the euros we, currency, it's cent as well. But with Great British pounds, it's only well, it's pennies and pounds currently. But they used to be a lot more in the past where there were shillings and hay pennies what? or hay pennies. What is a shilling? I I don't know exactly. I think it was like twelve I, I don't want to get this wrong. I think it was twelve twelve pennies I th around there. Hold on. Don't want to get this wrong. Um I there's, hope a, you don't. there's a long straight stretch of road here. I'm just gonna have a look. It's not used anymore, no that much. Um, it says a shilling is a historical coin and the name of a unit of modern currencies formerly used in the United Kingdom. You're getting stopped by train. Oh yeah. Um, it says formerly used in the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and other British Commonwealth countries. Yeah, yeah. Ireland. What's a quid? Hmm. A quid is just a pound. It's just an... I think it's just no slang name. for great, just one pound. Like, like grand is a thousand pounds. Quid is just one pound. So if you say, if you say that's six quid, it's just six pounds. Um, but yeah, it says... Uh, they were generally equivalent to 12 pence. Oh, so it was. I was right. <laughs> or one twentieth of a pound before being phased out during the 1960s and 1970s. So, yeah, there you go then. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Mm hmm. And your hay pennies were, I think, half a penny. So. Half pennies? Yeah. yeah. We had a half. We have a, we had a half dollar coin at one time. Mm hmm Also, the infamous two dollar bill. Oh yeah. Which people saw was a collector's item. Is it how the <laughs> the back side of the note was the sign of the Declaration of Independence. Oh, I see. So people thought naturally it's a collector's item. <laughs> with how rare it is, with how rare it is to see, find, and have one, and um, the unique design in the back. But no, it's actually meant for a. Uh... Oops. 
It's actually meant for circulation. So. Mm -hmm. Do you know when those were phased out? Before I was born. Mm -hmm. um, Blue says, well, cent is just Latin for hundred. Oh, I see. Yeah, century. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Snipe says, farthing, is that money too? Uh, uh, yeah, that's another one. A farthing is also a uh, type of... Well, it was also one, like, like shilling and penny, which isn't used anymore, as far as I know. At least not in the UK. But farthing, that's another one, yeah. Century, Centurio. Yeah, exactly. This is room spot, yeah. BGR, can you spare five quid, mate? Um, since we lost that Bose sponsorship time, it's been tough. Times have been tough, oh yeah. It's five quid, mate, yeah. Five quid, five pounds. <laughs> Didn't okay, sigh. so the, <laughs> yeah. the $2 bill was, discontinu was discontinued in 66. I was recovered oh, to uh, recovered to one of those um, hidden roads. Oh. Oh, actually. Yeah, I know you wanted to see yeah. them. Find one. I guess there is one just coming up, right? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Um, Blue says, "Don't side your own joke." <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't even realize it while I was saying it, but then just, well, while I was saying it, it I just, well, I didn't realize it before I was saying it, but I realized it while I was saying it, there was a joke. Uh, Mr. Snipe says, we have 50 cent pieces here, but you don't see them ever. You can basically only get them as a request from the bank. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got, I got a dollar in uh, half dollar. Hmm. They're big. These coins are big. We also have the one dollar coins here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here in the UK, there's also. I think there's two. There's two pound coins, I... one pound coins, and fifty fifty penny coins as well. Like if I remember, the the US was trying to. Um... Do away with paper bills at one time, mm. at one point, way before I was born. Mm -hmm. Now they're trying to do it again with the whole act about getting rid of all paper money, all paper currency in the country, just have digital. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Which is controversial, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to get into that about my opinions. Yeah. That. Yeah, probably for the best. But yeah, I agree. It's. Yeah. Um, it's just a giant loop. <laughs> nice. Oh, got an achievement as well. Can you keep a can you keep a secret? One out of three. I see. So enjoy the scenery. Fields and fields. Oh, yeah. Same thing in real life, just fields. It's all just fields. Uh huh. I wonder if they've got a Wizard of Oz reference in this DLC. I hope so too. What should be the. The warlock of um, Gog or Zog or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, something. I'm pretty sure they can't use their actual yeah. name. Uh huh. Or really characters at this point because of all copyrights. Although they could put a scarecrow somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> scarecrow. <laughs> yeah. In the West Balkans DLC in ETS2, there's a scarecrow somewhere. I found one, but here I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Mr. S oh, yeah, Mr. Snipes, yeah. Blue says the dollar coin failed because people would use them for credit card points and then put them in a bank. Oh. Because you had to buy a dollar coin for a dollar each. Oh, I see. The yellow brick road, yeah. <laughs> or if they just put a yellow brick road somewhere. That's some somewhere obscure. Mm-hmm. Maybe just as a hidden road. <laughs> yeah, this is the only hidden road on the route. Yeah. I mean, that's nice, too. <laughs> glad we got to... Glad we got to find one. I'll just take a really wide turn here so I don't slow down as much. There we are. Maintain momentum. Uh, Blue says a lot of people didn't want dollar coins because of this weight. Because of the weight, yeah. I wouldn't mind though, I always have a million coppers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, in the UK, like a one pound coin does exist, and two pound, as I said. But yeah. Uh, it makes me feel wealthy until I count them all and it's 18 pence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think here in the UK you've got one penny coins, you've got, f hold on, you've got one penny, five penny, ten penny, uh, twenty pennies, I think, yeah, and you've got fifty, and then one pound, two pound coins, I think that's, that's right, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, all we have here is a penny, a dime, which is ten mm -hmm. cents. A well, I forgot one nickel. That's oh, yeah. five cents. Then a dime, which is ten cents. Quarters, which are twenty-five cents. Then the discontinued fifty, and then the one dollar. Oh, I see. Which the one dollar coin? I don't know if it's discontinued or not. Hmm. Pretty sure it is. Could be, um, I, I'm not sure either. I wonder if they still accept it though, if you have one still. Yeah, they still do. That's good. That may have been another hidden road, but I haven't checked if that, like, branching no. up to the left there. No, it's not. Ah. It goes up to some farm's gate. I see. Uh, Mr. Snipes says. But yeah, rail actually rally some fans modded version of Richard Burns rally is free and has some really fun roads to drive on. Ah, I see. Uh, one five ten twenty fifty one two oh and five pound coin collectors collectors. I see. Are all the coins you know of? And the notes are one. So one pound note, five pound note, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred. Oh, I see. Yeah, that sounds right. The five pound coin was a collector special. Oh, right. Interesting. There's a police car. Just there. Yeah, don't know if it's legal tender. Yeah, I've no idea. I've never even heard of that, I don't think.
But yeah, I am really looking forward to the California rework as well, like the next phase of that. Because that's gonna... Well, it's gonna rework the West Coast area. Mm -hmm. As well as, well, San Francisco as well, as far as I know. I mean, they have... <laughs> They have held off on teasing San Francisco specifically, but they did reveal a road that was pretty much like going from San Francisco along the coast. So I'm pretty sure it's in the rebuild, in, in like in this phase, like phase three. But yeah, I bet you, we're gonna see a blog post on that probably before the end of the year, I would guess. Hopefully. They've also got the U.S. Road 50 between Carson City and Sacramento in there, which also looks really nice, like mountainous in parts. I uh, should we have desync? Yeah, there was a bit of desync. Are you moving or did you stop? I did. Uh, well, I did stop. I'm moving again now. <clears throat> okay, I can't sure. I can't tell because of yeah desync. Mm-hmm. I'll be there in a bit, like in like half a minute or so. But yeah, and the Switzerland rebuild as well, like that is going to include three different mountain passes, including the uh, what was it called? Gotthard Pass. Yeah, that's that's one of them. Um, and also the connecting road to France, because Switzerland borders with France. They've got a, a road by Mont Blanc, so also quite mountainous through France and Switzerland. Really looking forward to that. <laughs> um, Rooms yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Rumorspath says, "Hey, it's a long way to Winterland." Yeah, you're right. I mean, we're <laughs> we're in Kansas, and we need to get to the North Pole. Of course, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Ten minutes left, so <clears throat> we'll just get ten minutes left. Yeah. Oh, the stream. Mm-hmm. We're almost there, Kobe. Yeah, and then we have one small delivery to Winterland. I think that's gonna be it. Yep. Um. That's plan. Indeed. I mean, we yeah, we kind of we did start a little late. We did, yeah. It's a technical issues. Mm-hmm. On both ends. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad those were solved though. <laughs> uh, Blue says. Yeah, that could have, yeah. that could have been a half hour. Oh yeah, and in other streams, those have taken a lot longer than they did today, which I'm really glad yeah. about. Um, okay, um, Blue says, will the UK rebuild have slough? <laughs> well... I have no idea, honestly. I mean, the Pro Mods, Pro Mods Europe, they have made London and Croydon huge. It's like the largest city on the whole, on the whole map. It's like many roads, like really large map, really large city. Um, they've also got like, the the London bus in the traffic as well, the new route master. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the UK rebuild as well, because, well, I do know what it looks like, because I live there in real life, have done for pretty much, pretty much forever. Um, and yeah, at the moment, it doesn't really look anything like the UK, like the base game UK that the game ships with, because they pretty much just took it straight from the previous game. So SA Software, when they did UK Truck Simulator back in 2010, they basically just took that whole map for that and put it in ETS2 and it's still the same map pretty much. 
Like the entire thing is just the same. The only thing they ever did to it was add a port to Plymouth, which is on the southwestern coast. Um, when they added the France DLC, the Viva la France DLC, add a port so you can get from Plymouth to France. But other than that, they've not touched the UK at all ever since the game released. So that'll be great. And it's a free update as well, so that's lovely. But yeah. Yeah, imagine they start. Imagine you had to start spending money on the reworks. Yeah. <laughs> I'd better not. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dovetail does that. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, they just keep charging for the same game every few years, well, every year or so. Grab it, Call of Duty. <laughs> no hate on Call of Duty. I'm not familiar with that myself, but. Oh, yeah, it's just yeah. new stuff every year. Mm -hmm. Apple is the same thing. The new iPhone 25 releasing this month. Right after the iPhone 24 this month. Huh. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's, about, that's a mentality. I see. So yeah. Please, iPhone users, don't hate me. Yeah. It's all in good fun. But yeah. Um. Yeah, like Trains and World. They released Trains and World and said. Yeah, we're gonna have multiplayer in this game eventually, and a sure. bunch yeah. of stuff, which like a level editor, which I mean, that has released now. But multiplayer still yep. isn't a thing, and Steam locomotives, well, Steam locomotives as well, which what they only introduced only got those trains in World three, I think two, two, yeah, two, that's true. So they had trains in World twenty twenty, but it's trains all World. British, it's all British, yeah. And I'm looking. Yeah. I'm waiting for a U.S. Steam. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for one. It's got to be the big boy. Very, very unique. Uh huh. Memorable. But no, they're just releasing all British Steam. Even though they have American Steam and German Steam from Trains from Classic. Yeah. They just port over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have. It's still, it's whatever, I got the British theme, it's like, cool, I could dig British theme. Mm-hmm. I'm Steam. sure they'll eventually get to making those as well, like American Steam locomotives. I mean, they've got the technology in the game, like the, the implementation of Steam locomotives as a thing at all is in the game now, so I think it's just a matter of time until they get to releasing US stuff as well. After they release the 1,000th route with the same British steam <laughs> locomotives in them. <laughs> Sounds about right. And Rainsome <laughs> Road and Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, Smokebox's big boy model I think would still hold up in Trains and World if they I mean the shaders would still would need to be adjusted for Unreal Engine, I would imagine, but the model itself is stunning, I find. I've not got it yeah. myself, but from what I've seen, it looks really good. Also, people, the community really wants them to upgrade their engine to Unreal Engine 5, mm. which their standpoint, I don't know their standpoint. I feel like I feel like if they did that, it'll break everything for mm. them. And they like money. And yeah. they don't want to upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not sure what that would new? do to the game. The new features for Chainsaw Row 4 are should have been the last previous games. Like, there was no need to release a game this year. Yeah. For volumetric fog. Hmm. Yeah, if you ask me, this should still be just Chainsaw World. Just or at least updates. have a second game. Or at least have like a second game or Maybe, something. Maybe, yeah, but like. Trains in World like, 3 and 4 was just unnecessary, I find. Like, yeah, because there's really nothing yeah. big. Nothing big and major. Just It looks like the same game, it's just rebadged with a different it number. Is. It is the same game. I have Trains in World 4. Mm. It is the same flipping game. Yeah. Um, Except, 
Except it has a feature. Volumetric fog. Yeah. And wasn't the map editor as well? No, I don't. I have seen. I know there's. I know they had yeah. fog. I know there was fog, but I don't think they had volumetric. Yeah, although. Fogging. <clears throat> I think a map. I think they did add a map editor recently to Trains in World Four. Yes. Yes, they did. Yeah. You can only access it if you have an Epic Games account. Ah. I see. I mean, yeah. Which I. Yeah. I do have it, mm -hmm. but I don't really like Epic Games Launcher. Yeah, same. Yeah, Which sucks, because well, I, wa I want to try the editor. I want to try it. Ooh, another picture. <laughs> yeah, because I, well, I heard that. <laughs> I heard the camera sound. But yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've pretty much practically never driven properly in Trains and World. I did get the original one, Trains and World, old CSX Heavy Hall. And yeah, I had I... it in the virtual, in a virtual machine, but it didn't really run well at all because virtual machine. I like, heard that. Yeah. I actually remember my brother playing that. Mm hmm. And I seen I seen it when it first came out. It, oh yeah. And then they, what did they do with what did they did? Just renamed it to Transom Road, and then Transom Road Twenty Twenty. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yes. Um, I do also have. Yeah, it didn't run well for me because Unreal Engine games generally don't like. If if I try to run an Unreal Engine game in the virtual machine, if it's not for Mac OS. Then it generally la just lags a lot or doesn't run at all, which is also the case for Fernbus Simulator, which is like the German coach, coach simulator game at TML Studios, and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, but I also I do also have Trains and World Two on Epic Games, I believe. But yeah, it also doesn't run great. It's been a while since I've tried it, so. I don't know how it'd be now, but I don't know. It's already outdated. It's already <laughs> like two versions behind. So um, Lou says, uh, <laughs> "Slough just come for a convoy." <laughs> Have you ever heard of those places, American Gamer? What places? Slough and Scanthorpe in the UK. Never. Yeah, I'm, I'm not from the UK. Yeah. I'm not very. Yeah. I'm not very literate. Mm hmm. Well, those are generally. Well, I've not been there myself, neither of them, really, but uh, those are generally seen as not pleasant areas to live in. So one of them, so Slough, is a few miles west of London, and Scunthorpe is in the north of England. All right. Um, you getting the last cargo? Sorry. What did you say? Sorry. Oh, I think I'm getting the last, the last freight to the oh, winter yeah. land. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Um, thank you. But yeah, Slaughter's Camp of Convoy, that'd be, that'd be fun. Uh, well, ETS all patched up. All patched and ATS nearly patched. But I think I'll stick to Armsy tonight. Alright, have fun. Oops, sorry. <laughs> NRM isn't so new anymore. 2012. Yeah, it's 11 years old now. But yeah, it's still called the new Root Master. Like, it's, it's the same thing with the new forest. <laughs> I just heard a steam whistle in real life. Steam train whistle. Because <laughs> I've got the train of lights going. Where, like, I've got like loads of LED lights and stuff wrapped around the train. Like bright spotlights and stuff. 
which is just departing apparently. It's 10 o'clock here at night, apparently. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's like you call something new something because it's new when you name it, but years later it's still called new. So it's like the new forest yeah, in yeah. the UK. But yeah. Um, and of course there was a not so popular SRM a couple years after. Oh yeah, Son of Fruit Master it's called, I think, yeah. Which is, I think, basically... Uh, what was it? I think, I think a Gemini, a right bus Gemini 3 with the root mask, new root mask front, I think. I don't know. It had a different rear, that's a no. That's where I know. So it's got the Gemini 3's rear, or like Street Deck's rear. But yeah. So, Kango, 1A, thoughts? Oh, yeah, on the Omzi map. Because, yeah, on the. <laughs> for Omzi 2, I mean, have you played Omzi 2 at all, American gamer? No. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, it's basic. But you have you heard of it? Yes. Yeah. So. I see you guys play them all. I see it. I see you guys play it all the time. Mhm. Mm yeah. So. Uh, there is a freeware map available for that. Um, which is called West Country Three, which is set in. It's a fictional map, like heavily fictionalized, but it's just generally inspired by. The west, so South Devon, basically, is a, a, in southwestern UK on the coast. There was a, a county called Devon, and it's set in that, which is a, a great coincidence because that is <laughs> coincidentally where I just pretty much exactly where I live in the UK. So just on the south coast there, where, right where the map is set. And they had, I think, a while ago, like over a year ago at this point. They had an update where they added a, well, a, 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 a local circular route that goes up to a castle in Totnes, which doesn't exist. Like, that route doesn't exist in real life, but the, the castle itself does. But, yeah, and I, I, re I only recently drove on it for the first time, so yeah, Blue's asking her thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've driven on it once so far. Um, so I dri I've driven counterclockwise. Yeah, I I do and I did enjoy it a lot. Um, yeah, I, I would I'd have to. I'm not I'm not gonna accept a cargo here because I'll just take yours if you've got one. I got one. I just get it. That's good. Yeah, I'd have to drive on it a bit more, I think, to form a proper opinion on it. But yeah, I did. Overall, I did enjoy it a lot. I I, <laughs> I took the Optair solo on it, like the Digibus Mirage. But yeah, <laughs> so those Optair solo is like a a really small. Like, it's still a bus, but it's it's like a really small bus with the wheels in front of the driver. So <laughs> it often happens. I've seen in real life as well, like. In the game it's happened to me, and in real life I've seen it happen to drivers as well, where they are you like bus drivers are used to having the front wheels of the vehicle to be behind them when they're sitting, like on the driver's seat. <clears throat> so it's usually the doors at the very front and the driver, and then it's the front wheels and it's the rest of the bus. But with that bus, it's different in the in that <laughs> the wheels are actually in front and the door is behind. So it often happens that bus drivers would just accidentally like drive on the curb, so on the on the sidewalk, because uh, they expect they just subconsciously expect the wheels to be behind them, but really they're in front of them. And yeah, I've seen that happen in real life. Uh, rooms bath, actually, yeah. Lou says I heard it through your mic too. <laughs> Yeah, the, the photo sound, yeah. <laughs> the SRM was an NRM on a Volvo B5LHC chassis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's a picture. Yeah, I, I remember that, yeah. I remember. I've not seen it in real life, but I remember seeing this. Uh, pictures of that bus in real life. Well, yeah. 
Sure, yeah. Um, it's made for the solo, but I always take the veiling. <laughs> yeah. I say. Um, if it runs for you... Yeah. I, I don't have the veiling myself. I think if the Master Bus Gen 3 pack, if that lags a lot for me, I, I, I think the veiling would probably lag a lot as well. But yeah, the, the Mirage is very well optimized, the, the Zelda. 12.4 <laughs> meter one, the 13.1 Hawk is never going to happen. On, and don't think, don't even think about the BH RLEA. Yeah, the bendy one. <laughs> Now the train horn. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Nailing is going to perform worse than a Gen 3, I think. Yeah, then I, th I don't think I should get it in that case. Yeah. I'd never have issues with either, though, so I'm not sure. Hmm. I'd have to test the Gen 3 again. Just to be sure of that, if it still lags, but it has been a while since I've tested it. But yeah, it did last time. Um, but yeah. <laughs> also, I remember they teased before the veiling release, the veiling pack. I remember they teased a like a picture of a really short veiling. I don't think it ever, it ever made it in the game, unfortunately, but. Well, it, it did make it in the game, but not into the actual DLC, unfortunately, but I think that would have been perfect for the 1A and 1B route as well. I think an 8.9 meter one? I don't remember. I don't know if they said. Um, I never, f yeah. I can, Blue says, I can screen share me driving it if you want to see it before you buy it. The short one might be the street air, which would be in the environmentals pack. I don't know. I don't. Th I don't think it was that. I think it was just a fictional, really short version of it. I don't think it was an actual, an actual bus in real life. Also, that is a kind offer. Um, I mean, I have seen a bit of gameplay of it, and I could also look that up. Yeah, it's not that one. It's not that. Thank you for the link. It's not that one though. I think it was just a fiction. It, was, it didn't have the pot on the roof. It was, I think it was 2019 or 2020 or something where they teased that. It's like a really, really short version. Not the street air. Yeah. It looked more like the the above photo, only without the, without the pot at the, on the roof and just a lot shorter. <laughs> It should still be on the Virtual Hub Discord, I think. Oh, those are two. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, Street yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the quality of the pack, I mean, I'm not... I just think, yeah, I mean, if you're not having performance issues with the Gen 3, then... I mean, sure, but yeah. I don't know. I think if the Gen, if the Gemini 3 lags for me, I think it's most likely going to lag even more with the other one, but yeah. It's loading for me now. Oh, and, ah, this time we spawned a different one. I think I, oh. yeah, I, there were two. I think I think I think I used the wrong one. Which one did you go? Went to? I went to the right one because there was one on the left and the right on that one rest stop. I see. 
I guess we'll, well just then, get, yeah. meet you down there then. Alright, just in town square. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, because the pop-up didn't show up for me, where it says, uh, well, shut off the engine and press return or press enter to use portal. Didn't show up for me on the left one, for some reason. Uh, so I turned to the other one and used that, which worked. It might be because I used the left. Hmm. Or something. Cool off. Oh, cool maybe. I that could be a case, yeah. No idea. Yeah, it sounds like a plausible explanation, but I don't know if that makes case. no sense. And there's reindeer as well here. On a field. <laughs> well, also, Blue, do you plan on uh, completing the this Christmas event as well? Maybe. I'm unsure. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've got until the 14th of January, if you are interested. The rewards don't really entice me. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, for your, if you complete 15 deliveries, so... Which includes at least one to each of the locations in Winterland. Um, you just get a paint job for both games, just for the truck. But, yeah, that was like... They also have one accessory for each of the five locations on Winterland as like community rewards when like once you've completed your personal goal, so 15 deliveries, you get those as well. The first one was the Christmas sweater, which you can put in your bed, I think, which you claim today. Uh, but yeah, the others haven't been um, unlocked yet, quite yet. Where to meet up? <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Huh. Oh, actually. For the day Christmas tree. Could do, yeah. <laughs> actually, should I leave my trailer on so maybe to have that in the thumbnail as well? What do you think? Could that be good? It's up to you. Sure. I'll try that. I think that could be nice. Um, Blue says, If I had someone to do it with, I'd be more interested. But by myself, I get bored quickly in the trucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... I'm not sure when you'd have time. But if you do want to do some deliveries, you could... You could message me, and if I have the time, I could also drive with you if you want. Um, thumbnail, yes. Very snowy. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I think, hold on. How to position this. I 
think something like that. I'll just hmm. There's going to be the banner on there as well, on the top. So it should leave some space for that. <laughs> Ideally, I'd want to have the entire Christmas tree on there, but I um, think that could be a bit. Much of that's really possible. You hey, do you do you make money on these streams? No, the streams now. Okay, good. Because he might get copyright, you might get copyrighted <laughs> or something. Yeah, I, hmm. I would have, I did off stream. I did listen to the song to the to that jingle thing, just to see if I could recognize any actual like, any actual songs. I couldn't. I I think it's just generic, sort of Christmassy jingly music, but yeah, it's it's a good thing to keep in mind. Yeah, because Jingle Bells is playing. Oh, the actual one? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Maybe a remix or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, I got my screenshots. That's good. Yeah, I got mine as well. I'll just park this again. Alright, <laughs> so... You guys, that's the end of a stream. I guess so. On my end, at least. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna upload that to your YouTube then? Yep. Nice. Are you gonna link that as well on the server? So yep, my stream is gonna go down. Bye everyone. All right, bye. And hopefully, hopefully next time it'll it'll be better. Mm-hmm. Not sure when so. that'll be, well, because there's the other know. game I'm going. But yeah. Good night, everyone. Oh, sorry, I hit the. Good night. Mic there, good afternoon. So. Indeed. Good morning. Where? Place you live, I don't know. Yeah. As. Mm hmm. Yeah, my stream isn't over quite just yet, but we'll end it soon. Just re chat one more time. Uh, Blue says, I can get Omzi to load, but then it keeps freezing. Please don't make me make a new situation. Yeah. Yeah, that should be nice. Yeah. I'm around more or less whenever. I like that. Thanks and good night. Indeed. See you all soon. Thanks for the company. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so do you also, uh, American Gamer, do you also plan on completing this event then? Yes. I'm planning on completing nice. all the events. Yeah. Me too, generally, if I can. But yeah, then you also have a chance to see the new train. I think if I think if you go uh, by the chocolate factory a bit before, like where the viewpoint is, there's a station, and trains do go, like the red steam train does go past that quite frequently. Yeah, provided it is a, it is a steam train, not the generic mm -hmm. UP or it should BSFN. Yeah, for some, yeah. It, I mean, in single player, when I took that train changing mod out, like the, the sound one and the length one, it did display for me, so it did spawn properly. So it should do. I think it may have just been a glitch that the other one spawned. I don't know. But it should work. But yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Indeed. I'm gonna go ahead and close up the convoy when you're done. Alright. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Has your stream ended? Uh, we'll do in a second. Hold on. Just save the game, I'll quit. Uh, yeah, see you all soon. Thanks for the company. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Rooms Bath and Blue and Mr. Snipes. <laughs> and everyone else watching the archive and American Gamer for hosting and for coming uh, I appreciate it and yeah good night everyone good night have fun Indeed. stay safe bye